Hey guys, it's Vanilla again. Uh, so now I've shown you how to spawn and set spawn points, make small convenient structures like this, uh, put materials on static meshes, make a ladder that works. It's just it works by default in the game. Make your stairs gold, put skulls in the sky, put a castle, blah 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 blah. Use a ballista. So now I think what you want me to show you is how to make a landscape. So landscape, you will be able to find tutorials a lot better than mine on landscapes, but let me just show you the steps. So you want to hit the landscape mode. It'll bring up this box. You want to put a, you want the size of your landscape to be a number that I, for, I forget the exact equation but for instance 127 and 127 click that it works uh, let me show you how big that is create landscape uh -oh. so there it's about that big it's fairly small honestly I'm going to uh, delete it Go back to the landscape tool, uh, 255 and 255. Create landscape. Now it's much bigger. So, okay. For purposes of this video, I'm just going to take this landscape and I'm going to move it over here. So, yes, this is what you start off with. It, or checkers or whatever. So first thing first, double click um, and you see here landscape material. You want to go to the content browser and if I remember correctly, battle. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Look for one of these, battlegrounds, terrain, perhaps this one. This is the one that's used in more and a lot of other um, maps, I guess battlegrounds as well. So what you want to do is click that, highlight it, highlight it so it has a yellow box around it. Go back to the properties of the landscape, and you want to hit this: use selected object in content browser. Voila. Uh oh, it turned black. So. There's, not, there's no texture applied to the landscape yet. So you want to go to landscape mode and you want to go down here, scroll down till you find the height map thingamajig and hit edit. And now you're going to be able to add layers, paint layers that you can paint the landscape with. So let's, for, for instance of, of the material I'm using, it uses names like ground zero one add so that's grass ground zero two is dirt ground zero three is rock ground zero four is nothing so it's yeah yeah get rid so anyways I want to add grass so I I highlight grass I click component alt left click and press this, no, don't press this skip. Oh yeah, yeah, just click this. Click back to, to smooth follow. Also, if you want to change this, it does, I'll get to that in a second. Um, oh yeah, yeah, um, I should have said it in, in a video in the beginning. If you want to look around like this, you press the right mouse button. <laughs> uh, sorry, I should have mentioned that. Uh, okay, so you want to add some hills to your landscape. What you want to do is select height map. Select that. Go to paint. Put your strength up anywhere, you know, depends how strong you want it. And brush size. Hit control and 
start painting. Now this is where I was, once I figured this out, I was very much reminded of the Far Cry map editor. Because I loved making landscapes in it. Notice my fall off, my brush fall off. You want to bring that down, oh, oh no, bring that all the way up and it'll make it very like smooth. There won't be like a ledge, so to speak. So I'm starting to create landscape, I like it, looks good. Um, Maybe I want to smooth it out. Hold control. You must click the smooth button. Hold control and you can start smoothing it out. You can change the strength of the smooth. You can change the detail of the smooth. Notice that. Uh, and the detail going down. Just keeps more detail. Uh, brush size you can change. Um, brush fall off. Anyways, so there's smooth, there's flatten, there's erosion, there's hydraulic erosion, and there's noise. Watch what noise does. Holy Jesus. I didn't think it would do that. Noise scale. I want to put my noise scale down. Look what noise does. That's cool stuff. Uh, look what hydraulic erosion does. It's hard to tell what hydraulic erosion does look at uh, flatten. If I select a point in space and I flatten to it, it'll bring everything up to that exact level. If I want erosion, you know, select it, uh, change, you know, mess around with the parameters here and, and see what happens. Uh, for some reason surface thickness never changes, but you know, go to threshold, I don't know, you can select just subtraction or addition. Look at that. That's good. That's nice stuff. Uh, tool strength. Uh, your iteration number. I'm not quite sure what any of that means. But just mess around with it and then suddenly you're creating some pretty epic looking mountains. And so I'd like to add a spawn point. How do we add the spawn point again? Let's go back. Actor classes, AOC player, start, grab, drag, uh, what is my current game type? Team deathmatch. I go here, press F4, set to Mason, and um, build paths. Remember, build paths. Play. Mason. Let's try that again. Mason. There we go. Look at that. Got a landscape. I'm walking on it. I can add anything to it. I can add anything I want to it. So, uh, go back to the content browser. Uh, let's, let's add that castle again. Castle. Scroll down a bit. It's right here. Say I want to add it just over there. And just for the sake of the video right now, my Mason spawn point I'm going to get rid of. I think I got rid of it. And uh, I'm just going to spawn in. Oh. Build paths. Spawn it. And there's my castle. If you ever find that you're not spawning in, you must build paths. Even though you have spawn points, your game type set and your spawn point type set. So I got a castle, I got a landscape going. Just, just keep messing around with it. If I go back over here, say in these mountains, say I wanted to add. Uh, some rocks. Go to here, static meshes, type in rock, uh, scroll through, find something that looks cool. Here's a rock. Um, size it up, pull it down, put it into the side of the mountain, maybe rotate it a little bit that way, pull it out a bit, 
I don't know. It's up to you, man. Just grab this. Start, you know, doing whatever you want. It can be rocks in the sky. You can make the most ridiculous thing in the world. But, like I said, the, the point of these videos is just to give you bare bones basic idea of, of what you can do in UDK. So, yeah.